vast open plains, rich with mineral treasure, quietly hidden deep beneath the Earth's wide open surface. Since time immemorial, life in every form has traversed this magical continent, pursuing the still undiscovered mystery in the reservoirs of nature's last frontier, Africa. Today, it is over 120 years since the first cluster of this daring species began to migrate across the lush green pastures of Africa's southernmost tip. With boundless drive and bottomless appetite for achievement, capturing the imagination of scholars and laymen alike, the footprint on the track of Chabad in Cape Town beckons. These fearless creatures charter new territory as their trailblazing innovations of spiritual purpose are followed by flocks of others. From the very moment of birth, the young Shliach, or Shlucha in the feminine, is inculcated with a natural appreciation for the precious gift of selfless giving and making an impact on our surroundings. In the desperate race for survival against all odds, the young cubs are taught to safeguard the deep secrets so that they, in turn, can begin to nurture others as well. Answering the call of the wild, they awaken an instinctive blast of faith and commitment as they turn and transform the joyous cycle of our holiday traditions. Even reversing the course of nature, whatever surprises come our way, crumbling the shackles which enslave us to a certain perception of reality, if we only pause for long enough gives the freedom to see a new, complete picture. Peering through the cracks of time, space and spirit. It's mating season in Africa. Every human soul, by its very nature, roams the plains of Earth in search of companionship. Their shared sacred reunion shatters the glass barrier of ego, reuniting the soul into their original godly oneness, raising them above the chaos of the world below, the soul's rapturous joy and power of divine reunification is infinite. By cracking open the ancient code of our heritage, Suddenly, each random act of goodness, the mitzvah as it is known, mixes together the spirit and ritual, exposing a priceless spiritual gem that patiently awaits its time to be discovered and experienced. Night and day, this commitment to the chicken soup of the soul, make that thousands of souls, sets off a whirlpool of ripple effects beyond the rim of the possible. Every place on earth is a perfect setting for home. Every moment in life is a sacred partner in purpose, and every soul encountered is a glorious meeting with God. Finally, the long-awaited day of rest opens the flow for the blessings from above, 
into the vessels created through six days of labor before. All is quiet on the African plateau. Yet any feeling of simplicity is but an illusion. By transforming the darkness into light each and every day, we saw through the heavens in a mission nestled on the wings of prayer, held aloft in the vigorous pillars of Torah's immortal light, so that in the dimmest moments of loss before sunrise, even the relentless rain of sorrow can never put our flickering flame in danger of extinction. While only 3% of the Earth's water is fresh, all of life on our planet is dependent on it. But what is this secret well that awakens this deep, insatiable thirst to share the warmth and wisdom of God and His teachings with humanity? Rising from the depths of life's deepest waters is a force that cleanses our perception of the present with the ecstatic awareness of what will be. In the chaos of a bustling metropolis, the center of Chabad stands out as a reliable beacon of light, comfort, and the vision of a better world. But we can't do this on our own. The power of the soul, bottled tight in the body of our own limitations, needs to be unplugged. Releasing the surge of soul power that Hasidus teaches is fermenting inside each and every one of us. It needs your hand to come forward and unleash the moment. So, charge your glasses and say a l'chaim to God's force of nature sitting next to you. L'chaim to the planet Chabad's African pride. L'chaim to the miracle drive. L'chaim to always seeing more than what meets the eyes. L'chaim.